horror movies create serial killers. You see, that's a learned behavior. Not saying that some people ain't born sick in the mind. But normally, people are born with the innocence, right? But if you look at people like Ted Bundy, uh, the son of Sam, uh, Gacy, uh, uh, what's the other one? It's another one. I think I'm um, in a minute. But if you think of people like that, you see what I'm saying? A lot of them are, you know, learn serial killers. They want to know uh, how it will feel to kill people. Facts. You know, and a lot of them are, you know, psychologically damaged from, you know, being raped as a child. Maybe they family, they was, you know, like uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's a real story. That's a real story. And another thing, is Hollywood creating serial killers? Because that's what, that's what we saying. You see what I'm saying? Serial killer, Hannibal. You see what I'm saying? And it's these people we know, like we were talking about television programming the other day. And you know, when you go on any of these sites, Tubi, uh, Netflix, you know, Popcorn Flicks, all these sites that they got, it be about, you know, serial killers. A lot of it be horror films. The horror films outnumber every other film. And they create a horror film every month, even if it ain't ha Halloween. You see with a purge, the purge and all that, where you could just kill people legally. You see what I'm saying? I can't even watch that. You see what I can ah, That just, it, the saw. You see what I'm, the saw. It's just too much Well, you know, he, you know, putting people in these different devices, you know, and seeing if they can get out of it. If not, they die. I mean, just too much wickedness. In the Hollywood movies. Which create serial killers. That's the programming. They create monsters. Frankenstein. Through Tinseltown programming. Y'all go in there and sit down. Don't understand y'all being programmed. And it give you ideas. So a man think of. So is he. Who are creating these. Serial killer movies. I know a lot of it be autobiographies. Okay. A lot of it be autobiographies. So it be real life. Recreating itself. In film. And then you got copycat killers. Like when we they was looking for the Zodiac killer and all that. It was copycat killers copying him just from seeing the news covers. But you got serial killers constantly being recreated. Where are they getting this information? Hollywood is responsible. These are not lone wolves. These are not lone wolves and people that came up with this information all about their head. Most people, regardless of race, are raised, you know, in a decent environment. You know, in a decent environment. 
and a lot of these serial killers to be real, be Christians. Facts. Facts. They be God worshipers and Jesus worshipers. You see? And a lot of these terrorists be the same way, be, be religious based. A lot of the terrorists are religious based. Why is that? What is going on with the uh, war between Christianity and Islam? You see? But the serial killers, you talk about murders. Oh, even when you talk about they got the movie, uh, I think it's called The Hitman. And they had the game based on the video game, based on this man's character. Well, he a hitman for the mafia. You see? And then a lot of, you know, his training, for real, for real, look, you know, military. Because he already, look, you know, forensics. When you're dealing with, you know, forensic science, a lot of what the, because it be hard to get fingerprints on them. Even the man that did, um, what is that? America's Most Wanted. His son was murdered by one of these serial killers. If I could think of the name of my wood, I, I would, I would, I might think of him in a minute. It's on tip of my tongue. But he, that's what started his work. You see? But then you look at a case like, um, what's her name? The white girl that went missing. And, but they ended up finding her, and now she got her own show. I think of her name in it. But the serial killers are either religious-based or it's Hollywood-based. And, you know, the program of these movies and the programming of religions. A lot of the, like when they derailed that train, that man said he was the army of God. You see what I'm saying? I showed it on my Facebook. Serial killers exist in America all over the board. Serial killers. And, you know, a lot of watch. On Halloween, watch a lot of stores, a lot of houses gonna get broken into because this is one, this is the purge night. Halloween is based on the purge also because it's not direct, but indirect. The way they saying, you know, not that you can go out here and do things, but you can do things, you feel me? So, Serial killers are being created by Hollywood by programming. And on the other hand, the terrorists are created by religion. It's religious based. So, you know, serial killers, no matter all of them, you see what I'm saying? All of them are either religious based. Or they being programmed by Hollywood. Because all of those movies that's being created in Hollywood came out somebody's mind. Who was the sick-minded people that created Saul? You know, Michael Myers and Jason and Freddy Cougar. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Pinhead. You see what I'm saying? It. You know, the little clown and it. Who created all it took uh Stephen King and people like that? Who you know, it took a sick minded individual to create that. So 
Watch yourself, family. Like we said, the body snatchers are out here. Serial killers, they exist. 